Darnell Williams from the west side of Detroit, Michigan. Growing up in Detroit, we weren't like rich by any means, but I always had love. I was rich in love as far as family, and I had like real homies and real friends and stuff like that. Besides, you know, the, the madness and the stuff that you hear about on the news and stuff, you know, Detroiters are some pretty good people, and it's definitely a really unique place. It's not a lot of opportunity, but it's so much history there that it's still like a lot of stuff that can inspire you. To be honest, I always wanted to make music, man. I remember like being little before I could even like speak. I didn't have a big enough vocabulary to actually write a rap, but when I latched onto it and really realized that this could be something that could make me successful and I could actually have a career off of it, I looked at it as a way out. If I wasn't making music, man, I probably would be dead or in jail. I definitely would be a statistic. By the time I turned 21, a couple people that I knew were dead or in jail. So in a sense, I was a part of the statistic, whether I liked it or not. Making music definitely saved my life. Leaving Detroit right now. I'm about to head back to LA. I'm just on the freeway right now, right with my mom. I'ma miss my baby. <laughs> Headed to LA for a second. Corey hit me up, coming he had a crazy opportunity for me. So I'm like super excited to figure out what it is. I kind of never know with Corey. It's just kind of like a sporadic crazy dude. <laughs> my name's Corey Berkowitz. I manage Darnell Williams. I discovered him in 2012 after he dropped his first single, 91. No one believes in Darnell more than me. When you're managing an artist, you need trust, respect, and most important, you need loyalty. We over here in LAX, about to scoop up Darnell. It's time to get to work. <laughs> Today I'm headed to Rock Mafia Studios out in Santa Monica to meet up with Tim James. Like, super dope producer. Worked with everyone from Selena Gomez to Molly Cyrus to Green Day. Corey set this up. I don't know what it's about. I'm just really excited to see what he got in store for me. Do you know why you're here? Uh, I don't know too much. So ESPN reached out to Rock Mafia a couple weeks ago, and they said that they were looking for a new artist to do the theme for X Games. Oh, dope. Um, immediately thought of you. After Tim told me that I was gonna have the opportunity to do the X Games, I can't lie, I was a bit nervous, but super excited. Darnell is a super innovative hip hop artist. He's on the cutting edge, he's definitely in the scene. So this platform could be a really good look for him. ESPN has got a lot of other people working on the same slot. Definitely. So we really gotta come with it. Yeah. You wanna play it? Let's hit the beat. When I first heard the beat, I thought it was super dope. And the fact that it told me a story without lyrics, it just made it an easier track to write to. I think the next step for us is to come up with a concept that's really gonna get everybody inspired. Overall, I feel like the theme should be about winning. On the athletic field and in the field of life, somehow we need to be able to bridge that gap, you know? I love that. I just know this is a huge opportunity. Like, if it changed the mind or the attitude of one kid from thinking like he's a loser, so he can actually be a champion, I feel like my job's done. Doubt is a disease and it will like kill any dream of yours, you know what I'm saying? If you really want something, you kind of just got to go for it. I think I got it, man. Oh, really? I got something. What are you thinking? I think it's going to be hard. <laughs> I 
think I got it, man. Oh, really? I got something. What are you thinking? You know, I hate to judge an artist's idea. I wasn't sure. It's almost finished, but it's just not hype enough. What else it need? It wasn't until I heard him actually perform it that I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. King of the city, got my money coming nonstop. Yeah, Dude. so <laughs> sick. It didn't take more than 10 seconds of hearing the track to get exactly where he was coming from. Those dudes definitely gave me some tips that I think can take it to the next level. The song's dope, dude. Like, it's fing rad, man. It's super dope.